Well, that was kind of kind. There you go. <laughs> Woo! So the sisters from Cleveland and the sisters from Washington and all the sisters here in Detroit, we welcome you to the launching of the Detroit Sisters. All right! Yay! Yay! And natural ability to bear children. Recognizing the biological aspect of womanhood. Other people may advocate for other things. Some organizations that you're a part of are going to not hold to this definition of one. This is our definition. So I just want you all to be clear on what we stand for when it comes to one of them. This is what we stand for, full stop. We're not advocating for anything else except for this. Amen. Uh, so that's what that's for, charging. Yeah. Oh, and, oh. and the stops you see, thing. yeah, that's their charging station. Well, tell me it was fun when we rolled on it because oh, they told us that. Yeah. It's not what it looks like now. Yeah. But well, when, you, when you see it at one of the stops and it's staying about five or ten minutes or so, and you I co founded a company with my one of my great friends last year called the Nigerian American Executive Women. We do professional networking. The goal is to get women and young kids through the professional, the professional fields. So just like how Indians employ theirs, we want to employ ours as well. I'm from Nigeria. I've been in Detroit 20 years now. I'm married to a Detroit man. So there goes my assimilation with the American <laughs> culture. <laughs> um, and then I'm also an entrepreneur. I um, do events. So I provide servers for events. I've been doing that now for 15 years. All right. Awesome. Hello, everybody. My name is Liz Kendra Golden, Prophet Liz Kendra Golden. I'm a minister here um, now for 23 years. Um, I have a Company called Gospel Only Productions. I write gospel plays. I'm working on my first movie, and my goal is to children. They're gonna have to help you to do this. And if you don't do it, you're not gonna rest. <laughs> <laughs> I, they said our ancestors are unemployed because we don't call on them enough. Mm. They are actually angry with us. I got them on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I promise you. I said I have them on speed, speed dial. dial. When yeah. The type of things I encounter and I try to oh, get through, call I call them and they, like, I know there's a worry of them around me because mm -hmm. they come through. Yeah. Some yeah. of the. <laughs> it's that bad. Yeah. 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 When I look around today, I see a difference between the young women and when I was a young woman. Um, simply because our grandmothers were present, you know, like, and they gave us structure in our lives. Either it was going to church or having Sunday dinner cooked before you even went to church, you know, making sure your clothes were pressed and clean. It might not be new, but we presented ourselves in a certain fashion. And so, it makes me feel a little old school when I look around and see how culture is today yes. with our young women. Like, we come outside in pajama pants, house shoes, house. Yeah, our mouths are filthy. And it, it wasn't like they weren't filthy then. We had Millie Jackson back then, too. But we didn't do those things in front of our elders. We, like, were respectful. We whispered under our breath or get your lips popped mm -hmm. in. So, anybody. <laughs> you know, I just think as women having respect for our elders and mm -hmm. the traditions and the values and, and principles that you all, you know, have taught us, that we've been taught, it's important as sheroes that we carry those on mm -hmm. with young women. And we have to set ourselves apart because sometimes assimilating and doing the popular thing ain't the right thing That's to right. do. And so we're going to hold to our definition of womanhood, we're going to hold to our definition of family, and we're going to continue to respect our elders and our ancestors as we, you know, move on in the sisterhood. Zero! 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 In Detroit, 2024. <laughs> <laughs>